our reality check this, this morning. morning. <laughs> As the economy bounces back from the pandemic, where do mortgage rates stand right now? Well, Duncan Robertson with Fairway Mortgage Corporation joining us to talk about the state of the housing market. Hi, Duncan. Okay, so we can't hear you. I don't know if that's on our end or everyone's end. Okay, okay. we can no, hear we you. Got we you. Can... We're good. Okay. You got me now? Yep, yep we're good. Hey, now. So let's talk about first this. Uh, are we in a bubble? It's almost impossible to find a house. Are sales slowing a bit? Is inventory picking up? What are we facing? So um, that's a very interesting question. I get asked a lot about a bubble. This is definitely not a bubble. There's uh, some huge differences between what's happening now and what happened in 2008. So um, there are probably 25% uh, as many homes uh, for sale right now as there were in 2008. People were in uh, mortgages that they couldn't afford. You know, it was kind of fog the, fog the mirror financing back then. Um, and then, you know, we've got the, uh, the biggest set of consumers to ever hit the planet, the millennials, are all going into the home buying phase of their lives, um, which is going to continue for quite some time. So um, inventory is low, demand is high, and so that is not a recipe for a, any kind of a bubble breaking. Duncan, let's talk about uh, finance rates right now. Where do mm -hmm. they stand? And then this is always my question because I deal with this every single year. When should you refinance? How do you know if you are a candidate that should refinance, if it makes it financially feasible? Well, you know, we got some uh, some great news out of the uh, the Biden administration. They uh, they let go the um, the head of the FHFA, the Federal Housing Finance Authority. Uh, Mark Calabria had uh, had imposed a uh, half a point. Uh, and for anybody who doesn't know what that means, one percent is one point. So half a percent of your mortgage amount uh, would be imposed on any cash out um, refinances. That has now been eliminated, as has uh, Mr. Calabria. So um, this is an excellent time. You know, people have more um, equity in their home than ever before. Rates are still very, very historically low. They're still in the in the very low threes for people with great credit. And so it's an excellent time uh, to refinance. Okay, so here's a question then. Inventory is still low, demand is still mm -hmm. high. Um, yes, at what point do you decide you're gonna buy a new home or do you refi the home you're in, take out that equity and then maybe redo it? Because a lot of people are looking to move up, move out for that reason, but perhaps you get a little bit of money, maybe you can add on, uh, maybe replace some of what you have in the house, fix it up a little bit so it's like a new home. Yeah, and you know that's a, always a great option as well. You know, there are also um, you know loans that actually uh, that we do that actually you know you can use for um, doing remodeling on your homes and rolling those costs into those uh, into those loans. So that's always a great option too. Um, and as far as uh, buying a home, there is an old adage in the real estate uh, market that says the best time to buy a house is always five years ago. So uh, we never we never tell people that they should wait. Uh, because I just don't see anything, and the experts uh, that, that I subscribe to, you know, we don't see um, anything, you know, in the near future um, mean, showing that, you know, home prices are going to come down. Duncan, we've got just about 30 seconds left, but I want to ask you real quickly. Obviously, last year was so hard on a lot of people not being able right. to make their payments. So for folks that maybe went into that forbearance on some yeah. of their loans, what should they be doing right now? So more great news from the Biden administration on that. I just saw a something was coming out. So for people who are still struggling, uh, whether it's from COVID or whether it's some other things, there is going to be a program coming out for government loans, meaning FHA, VA, um, and uh, USDA, uh, that may actually reduce people's principal and interest payment by as much as 25% if they qualify. All right. How do they get a hold of you for all this great information? Oh, just call me at 480. 205-0233. Thanks, Duncan. Duncan, thank you. We appreciate it.